Hello guys, welcome back to Stories with Auntie Ogi. Today, the title of our story is All of You, Why the Tortoise Has a Cracked Shell. Before we continue with the video, if you are a fan of folktale stories, do well to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get updates about future uploads. Stay tuned. Once upon a time in the animal kingdom, the tortoise who at this time was said to have a smooth shell was known to be very cunning and greedy. He prided himself on being smarter and wiser than every other animal in the kingdom. Now at this time in the animal kingdom, there was a severe famine and all the animals were worn out and malnourished except for the birds who were said to be plump and healthy. This was as a result of the birds being fed by hosts way up in the sky during a feast that was held monthly. In the bird community, there was excitement and joy as the day of the feast in the heavens was fast approaching. The tortoise, while in his farm, overheard talks of the coming feast and got excited whilst imagining the assorted food and drinks that would be at the feast. On realizing that he had no wings and therefore no means of getting to the venue, he fell silent, scrunching up his face in deep thought for a solution. Yes, I've got it, he yelled, jumping up and down excitedly as he had got a solution, one which involved trickery. The next day, Tortoise approached the eagle, which was the leader of the bird community, and asked to go with them to the feast, claiming that he would be a great source of entertainment to them. When asked how he intended to get to the heavens, owing to the fact that he had no wings, Tortoise pleaded for all the birds to each give him a feather, which would altogether constitute wings. They all agreed and gave him a feather each, which Tortoise glued to his arms to make wings. He used the remaining days to practice flying until he mastered the art. On the said day, Tortoise and the birds gathered together to begin their journey to the skies, but just as they were about to set out, Tortoise stopped them and suggested that they each take a ceremonial nickname, which they will be called at the feast to make things more interesting. The birds were puzzled at such a suggestion, but went on to pick out various names regardless. The Tortoise, however, chose an odd name. He said he wanted to be called all of you. Everyone thought it odd at the time but didn't question it. At last they began their journey to the heavens and all arrived safely. They participated in several activities like games, dancing, singing together and lots more. When the time came for eating, the host brought out large bowls and trays of assorted food and said to them, this food is for all of you. They were all excited and ready to jump on the food when Tortoise stopped them, reminding them that his name was all of you and that the food was his and his alone. He suggested that others wait for their own food to be served. They all listened to Tortoise and waited in anticipation and hunger. They were exhausted and hungry from all the flying and activities they had done. They waited and waited, but no other food came. Tortoise, on the other hand, ate up all the food that was served earlier as he was very, very greedy. The host later clarified that the food was meant for everyone and not one person. This infuriated the birds as they realized that they had been fooled by Tortoise and one by one, they each took back their feather until Tortoise was left with none. Hence, no wings to fly back home. One by one, the birds began flying back down and Tortoise begged the kite, who had been his friend, to at least take back a message to his wife. Go on, Tortoise. What message do you want me to send to your wife? Tortoise then begged the kite to ask his wife to bring out all soft equipment like pillows and mattresses or property they had to help cushion his fall when he jumps down from the sky. The kite, however, told Tortoise's wife the exact opposite of the message. He asked Tortoise's wife to bring out all the hard stuff and tools her husband had in the house as he was going to change every tool. 
Tortoise's wife did exactly as the kite said. She brought out every hard object imaginable. Mr. Tortoise, still up in the sky, looked down and saw his wife bringing out objects. Assuming they were soft objects, he jumped down from the sky. He landed shell first, causing his shell to shatter into pieces. Later on, his wife glued his broken shells together. And this, folks, is the reason why the tortoise has a cracked shell. The end. Moral of the story. A person's greed is like a rat that wants to swallow an elephant. There is no greater disaster than greed. Let's stay away from it. That's it from us here today on Stories with Auntie Oge. Once again, do like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share, share, share. See you next time. Bye-bye.